eyes just don't feel the same Oh, 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 oh. back my life inside a car Hit the button, drive real far But that wreck could only die Oh, 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 oh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel I hope you guys are doing okay. Happy New Year to you guys. I know it's been a minute since I made my last video, so uh, I've been pretty busy. You know, life got in the way and been busy with work and some other projects and stuff. So yeah, I'm just gonna give you an update on the quad and what I've done so far. So I replaced this bumper, you know, on the quad. The old one was, kind of rusty and stuff and I didn't like it I'm gonna show you the old one so this is the old one right here it's all beat up and rusted so I just decided to put a brand new one on it and also I made a battery box my fabricator made this battery box for me and I painted the battery box black matte black and also um I have my um, my key switch right here. My key switch is right here, and this is um, some plexiglass I used to mount, you know, the key switch and the charging port. And I also made a um, a mount for my controller right here. I'm not sure if you can see it. There is a mount right here for the controller, and also I welded like. A bolt right here for the other side of the controller and um, so yeah and also let me show you this I made this display as well so this display mount was made from you know um, what do you call it uh, plexiglass as well so yeah it's um, it's a fun little project and uh, what else am I missing I replaced the um, the ball joints on the quad. Yeah, I replaced the ball joints on both sides, and I also replaced the steering bearing for the um, for the handlebar. I replaced the bearing, and uh, what else? I replaced some of the grease fitting, and I regreased everything. I put some new grease in it. As you can see, some grease is kind of sticking out. So I greased all of the fittings and stuff. And um, let's come to this side. I um, removed the original mount and I had to cut this because, you know, there was some kind of interference issue on the, um, on the reservoir for the brake, um, the brake fluid. Yeah, it was kind of, it was supposed to sit right here but it was interfering with this on the battery box. I had to cut this off and remount this lower. And I had to cut the hose as well. And, and I had to make it shorter. So that way, you know, everything would fit, you know, perfectly and stuff. So yeah, um, that's my um, on and off switch right there. I have a resistor on it. It's an on and off kill switch. And I also replaced the brake line because mine, the original one was broken. So I had to, you know, replace it with a brand new steel braided um, hydraulic line. And uh, what else am I missing? Um, and I also have, I forgot to mention, I have reverse forward and reverse switch on the quad. So, you know, I'm gonna show you something right quick so you can kind of see how it kind of works. So flip it, see. You see, go back, flip it again. You should see it go forward. Oops. So you see, it's got a lot of power. So yeah, I'm just gonna give you guys a, um, a video I made of this quad it wasn't like fully assembled but it was functioning and um i rode on the trail with my friend 
And also I have another video I recorded with the drone of me riding around like my compound and stuff. You know, I was just riding around like here, going in circle. I mean, it's one of the <laughs> most fun thing you can ever do like going in circle. So I'm gonna share that with you as well. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Stay tuned and um, I'm gonna put the rest of the video up so you guys can watch. Thanks.